Hey bro, it's Nav here in Prague and in this video I'm going to be breaking down one of my students text exchange with a girl uh, that he closed a couple of weeks ago. So he's, he actually made a mistake in this tech ex text exchange and this is why I want to break it down together so that if you make the same mistake or maybe you've made this mistake in the past you know how to correct it so you can actually get the girl out on a date. All right, let's break down this text exchange. So first, uh, he's sent, hey, it was super random, but cool meeting you. Are you always this kind to strangers? So this one is, I think it was created like maybe 12 years ago or something by uh, some of my mentors at daygame.com. Uh, I think Andy Yosha came up with this. I'm not 100% sure. So my mentor was Yad, and they were, uh, they were business partners with Andy Yosha, and they created daygame.com. And they had this text um, system back in the day. And then what happened is they found out that this is actually not the best way to do it. Because what happens is, when you say, are you always this kind to strangers? So it, I remember before it was, are you always friendly to new guys? Um, question mark. Uh, the problem with that is sometimes it goes into this conversation exchange because she's like, oh, but you approach me. Who are you? You. No, not me, you. Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? I have told you. Are you deaf? No, you is blind. And then what are you going to reply to that, right? Or here, we're going to see what happens here. Uh, but you go into this difficult com text ch exchange, like difficult conversation, where the likeliness of you making a mistake is 10 times more than if you keep it simple. So just before this, uh, this, this breakdown, I made another video that was on how to keep it super simple and how to get the girl, girl out as quickly as possible, right? So if you want to watch that video, uh, I would recommend first look at this one so you learn from this mistake and then check out that video after. So I'll put the link after this video so that you know exactly how to send simple texts in so you don't make mistakes because even at my level you know i've been doing this for eight years now even at my level you're still likely to make t ex uh, you're still likely to make mistakes right even you know the best in the world it's kind of like a sports even the best athletes in the world they're likely to make mistakes it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up do that is by keeping it super simple so let's uh, let's break this down she says hey to be honest too many strangers come up to me to chat or to be honest not too many strangers come up to me to chat haha -ha. so her so her investments really good uh, so it is positive and then he says I know you are just walking with so much confidence I just felt like saying hello so that, that's good as well then she says, that's so sweet of you. Most probably I am the least confident person in Prague, but thank you. You made my day, thank you for that. Uh, so it seems pretty solid here. It's, go it's going really well, he's done well. She's um, investing a lot. That's actually the biggest, um, let's say, if you're gonna look at you know, something to know that the girl is interested in, the biggest indication of interest is investment in Texas. Right? And she's investing a lot, so that means the interaction was really good and she's definitely interested in going out on a date. Right? So the next one he says, Haha, I doubt that you seem confident to me. I love that you're chasing your passion too. When, you, when, you, when is your next big flight? Right? So the first thing I would have done, I would have actually stopped. Uh, continuing the conversation. So continuing conversation is not good when it comes to texting. What you want to do is, yeah, you do want to build a little bit of report. So you send some messages, uh, you know, hey, hey, how how was your day or something? Studying hard or uh, relaxing today, just to know how her day is, just to you know ask her um, uh, how she is and stuff like that. Keep it super light, and then you go for the meet. Right. So I've made uh, another video actually on that, on pinging. So if you don't know what pinging is, it's basically you, 
you're giving value, right? Like you send a picture of you having a coffee, right? Like we're in a, in a coffee shop right now and you know, we've just had a smoothie so I could take a picture of the smoothie and send it to her, you know, like something like um, best smoothie in Prague, right? Wink. Uh, and that way I'm giving value, I'm not taking value and I'm coming across as a uh, high value, right? Because if you go into too much conversation, it's like you've got too much time on, on your hands rather than, you know, you should be hustling, making money, you know, becoming a better version of yourself. Uh, so you don't, you're not going to really have time to be just texting all day. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, so she says, not sure yet, I need to finish my uni so I can probably breathe out and start actually living my life. Ha ha ha. Oh, so when the weather is convenient, what are your plans for the summer? So she's asking him questions, which is again, a really good positive. As I mentioned before, this girl definitely wants to come out on a date from all this, all this uh, text exchanges. And here, this is where the mistake is. So he goes for the meat when it's not actually relevant to go for the meat yet because it's just out of nowhere. It's a bit too sudden, right? So uh, he says here, don't worry, time flies pretty quick, Wait, smiley, which is fine. And then <clears throat> let's talk about our plans over glass. I'm free tonight <clears throat> uh, and on Sunday, right? And then she, she stops texting. Uh, so, <clears throat> because it's so sudden, the way he goes for the meat, uh, it's kind of not desperate, but a little bit needy, right? And that's the, what, that's the reason she never responds. Uh, because what women want, women want a guy who's got a lot of abundance, right? Who's got a lot of abundance. And uh, in order to do that, right, you have to you have to send them a text that's high value, right? And in order to be high value, uh, you need to kind of seed the date, right? So you can't just randomly go for the date. So here, uh, you know, if he said, don't worry, time flies pretty quick, um, and then said about his plans for summer, because that's what she asked. So I might, you know, uh, I'm going to be traveling a little bit and, uh, you know, working or whatever and then in the next line be like a smoothie or coffee question mark right then then that way you're slowly building up to the day so it's not like randomly out of nowhere it's like it's not like uh, oh yeah the weather's great today let's meet up for a actually that would make sense because the weather's good you could be like let's meet up for a, a walk in the park or something that would kind of make sense but you know if you're like oh yeah the weather's great today uh, let's talk about the weather over uh, over a coffee. <laughs> yeah, <Right. laughs> you know, like you wouldn't do that. So you want to seed the date. Remember that. And the best way to seed it is to say uh, this or that cocktail or wine? Question mark. Coffee or tea? Question mark. Right. I've done in the past. I've done walk in the park or. Uh, sitting in a coffee shop, you know, uh, drinking tea, question mark. You can even do that. And that creates a kind of an interesting uh, way <clears throat> to lead up to the day. And then once she replies, uh, then you, you can say, you know, let's meet up for a cheeky glass of red wine, if she says wine. Uh, and then you can put dot dot, I'm free tomorrow or Thursday. It's always good to give one day in between to just seem like you're super busy <laughs> but uh, like I'm, I'm here in Prague for a certain amount of time so uh, I go for tomorrow or the next day so I don't put a, a day in between obviously if you're a tourist in the place you're not gonna have time to be you know messing around so for example with this Ukrainian uh, one that we just analyzed uh, and if you haven't seen that check that out now we'll put a link up to it I said uh, tomorrow or um, I think I said Monday because we were doing it on Saturday. So I said uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday or Monday. So the next day. So you can do that if you know, you're visiting somewhere, you're not a local and you've got limited time. All right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. 
and uh, subscribe as well because we're going to be doing more of these text game analysis. I know texting is so hard, it's so difficult and so many guys make mistakes. I think it took me two years to, to learn everything that I'm telling you now. Uh, two of my mentors also taught this to me. So I'm sharing uh, some knowledge that is just not available out there. Right, so if you want to know more about this stuff, then click the subscribe button now and I'll catch you in the next video. Now.